Hi, this is Ben. Ben just started working three months ago for a large advertising firm. He is so excited about this opportunity. Today, Ben is participating in his first team meeting discussing a project for the firm's largest client. Let's do some eavesdropping. The team is outlining several concepts for their ad campaign. Notice how Ben appears smart, talented, and eager to learn. But as you will see, Ben struggles with one problem. Ben isn't very sure of himself. In fact, he tends to second-guess himself, especially when he's under pressure. Let's watch what happens as the team leader conducts a brainstorming session with the team. Look, Ben is starting to talk, but something gets in the way. Another team member speaks up, interrupting Ben. Ben seems to be confused about this. So Ben tries once more. Again, he gets interrupted and dismissed. At this point, Ben is getting concerned. He is wondering why people won't acknowledge his ideas or him. So Ben tries one more time to contribute, only to be interrupted once again. Ben is now becoming frustrated. Notice how the other team members are ignoring Ben and his ideas. Unfortunately, Ben finds that people interrupt him a lot. He feels helpless. Sadly, Ben tries hard, but he just doesn't seem to be getting the respect or appreciation for his talent that he deserves. Does Ben sound familiar? Perhaps you've been in Ben's shoes at work. If this has happened to you, here's what you can do to get the recognition and respect you deserve. Ben has learned that to be noticed and taken seriously, he has to grow his confidence, become likable, and cultivate trust among his colleagues. Let's see what happens when Ben has a strong self-confidence and is trusted by his peers. Now, Ben realizes he has an opportunity to build trust. Watch what happens when the meeting begins with Susan's comments. Did you detect how Ben gave Susan a compliment while asserting one of his own thoughts? Ben is being appreciative and expressing his own idea. This takes confidence. Notice how Ben is using his words to build trust while also staying true to what he thinks and believes. Ben has learned to frame his response as a question. Doing this shows other people he's interested in their ideas. He is inviting participation and engagement. Successfully doing this requires a level of trust between the team and Ben. Now Ben has an opportunity to guide or influence the team while at the same time being likable and respected. Ben has created a space within the meeting for further discussion and new ideas. Did you notice how once Ben became more confident, spoke in a way that made others curious enough to listen to him and opened the door for the team to trust him, the team paid attention and didn't dismiss him at all. This entire brainstorming session turned out very differently from the first scenario, all because Ben worked on developing his confidence and trustworthiness. Ben worked at making this happen, and you can make your less than desirable circumstances turn out differently too. You have the power to influence situations like you've never imagined. If you would like to know how well prepared you are in turning a bad situation into a win-win situation, how confident or likable you are, then go to the link on this page or under this video and read more about what you can do to make a difference in your life. Join hundreds of other people who found out what Ben did and how he influenced his results.